Uh, thank you very much, Ken Corla, and I welcome the opportunity to contribute to the budget debate. The government is successfully rebuilding our economy and our society, and this budget is a further progressive step along that road. Fiscal responsibility, job creation and social reform are its hallmarks. Neither element can be taken in isolation. This budget is a coherent package of measures designed to promote growth, regain our economic sovereignty and rebuild the fabric of our society. And it will achieve all these goals. I share the view of the Taunashta that this should be the last of the difficult budgets. In looking to a more positive future, we must also recognise the significant sacrifice that the citizens of Ireland have borne in recent years. Everyone has contributed to the necessary restructuring of our national finances, and again, difficult choices had to be made in this budget. In implementing these decisions, we've worked to ensure that those with the most shoulder most of the burden and that the core living standards of the most vulnerable are protected. Innovations contained in Budget 2014 will impact significantly on housing in the coming year. I estimate that an additional 4,500 new social homes will come on stream in 2014, with the continued transfer of NAMA units, increased completion of mortgage to rent arrangements, the delivery of construction projects and units delivered through social leasing initiatives. 2014 will also see radical reform of housing assistance support. Working in conjunction with my colleague, Minister Burton, a new housing assistance payment will be introduced in 2014. Work on the necessary legislation is currently underway, and I expect test phases of the new payment to begin next year in seven local authority areas. The housing assistance payment will play an important role in the government's job creation agenda. The new system will allow people to take up work opportunities and retain a level of housing support. The present rent supplement system doesn't allow that flexibility, and reform is long overdue. Budget 2014 will also herald two new capital housing initiatives. With the support of Minister Brendan Howland, an additional €30 million Euros will be invested in a new capital building and refurbishment programme. And as the Minister said yesterday, this initiative, while a modest start, is a very significant signal that the Government sees traditional local authority housing construction playing an important role in social housing supply in the coming years. Approximately half the fund will be invested in new build developments. 50% of the fund will be used to bring back into social use those local authority houses which have remained vacant and in some cases derelict for too long. This investment will provide additional homes, enhance local communities and ensure that we utilise the assets we have to provide people with high quality housing. 10 million euros will also be invested in a new fund for the most marginal of unfinished estates. Good progress is being maintained in resolving this most visible scar of the boom years, with more than 40% of unfinished estates now resolved. The most difficult estates to resolve are those where no developer contribution for public infrastructure is available, or the bond, as, as we generally call it. In many cases, these estates are effectively frozen. Owners and funders won't advance a capital investment to finish out works because facilities such as paths, roads and drainage aren't in place. The result for hundreds of families is that they have to live day in, day out in a wholly inadequate development with little prospect of resolution. The €10 million Euro fund is designed specifically to break this logjam. Public infrastructure will be provided and this has the capacity to unlock external investment on the estate while also bringing tangible benefits to existing residents. Developments that put forward a community gain in terms of housing units or amenity facilities will be strongly favoured when applying for the fund. And details of both those schemes will issue shortly. Budget 2014 is fair, innovative and reforming across all departments, as is evident in the housing area. The government is successfully adjusting public spending to sustainable levels while implementing an ambitious reform agenda. And it's vital that these two approaches go hand in hand. As we emerged from the bailout and regain economic sovereignty, we do not want to get back to where we were. That is not the mandate this government holds. We have a more challenging and more important mandate. Our goal is to reform policy so that the citizens of this country have a sustainable economy and a fair society. Given the sacrifices that our people have made, it is the least that they deserve.